What's up Marinas, this is Abhilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so now we have reached up to rule number 24. This is the lights about the towing and pushing vessel. It's a little bit longer, so please be patient and if you want, you can increase the speed of the video by about 1.25x. But do watch the full video so that you can understand everything, okay? I will also put on the images so that uh, it will be easier for you to understand the lights, okay? One thing I would recommend to you that practice these lights again and again, okay? So that it will stay longer in your mind. And also practice it with your friends and it will be easier for you because with the discussion you learn faster. Okay, so I would suggest this thing to you. Also share this video to your friends and watch it together then ask questions to each other so that you guys can get refined in this uh, lights and shapes. Okay, now without wasting our time we will jump onto the parts. Let's start with the A part of this rule which says a power driven vessel when towing shall exhibit instead of the light prescribed in rule number 23A first and A second. Two master lights in a vertical line when the, the length of the tow measuring from the stern of the towing vessel to the after end of the tow exceeds 200 meter, three such lights in a vertical line. Side lights, a stern light, a towing light in a vertical line above the stern light. When the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. Now here in the A part we are talking about the towing vessel and what light she should exhibit. Of course she is a power driven vessel, she cannot tow without having a power, she is propelled by machinery and uh, uh, instead of the lights prescribed in rule number 23 that is a power driven vessel, we will have a different lights for this vessel. Now they are saying about 23A first and second which is two master lights, one should be aft of the forward one and higher. Instead of that we will join these lights together and we will put it on top of each other, we will put it in a vertical line. Okay, that is what we have to do in this case when she is towing. All right. After that, same side lights and a stern light. Additionally, we have to put the towing light also. We have covered up towing light description in rule number 21 definitions. We have covered up what are the towing light. Towing light means it has the same characteristics as the stern light, only on the color is yellow. Stern light has the white color, but the towing light color is a yellow color. Okay, so she has to exhibit a towing light just above the stern light. Okay, that is what he, she has to exhibit in daytime. If the length of the tow increases by 200 meter, length of the tow means from the aft of the towing vessel up to the aft of the vessel being towed, including the length of this cable or rope, whatever it is. So all of this length will be included. And if it is more than 200 meters, she should exhibit a diamond shape in daytime. And night time, she should additionally put on one more masthead light. Earlier, we have seen that we have to put two masthead lights in a vertical line. Now, we will put three masthead lights in a vertical line to show that the vessel towing more than 200 meters. Okay. So, that is what we have to do in daytime, diamond. And if it is not more than 200 meters, nothing to exhibit in daytime. We can just look at it and we can observe and we can find out that this is a tug and tow combination. Okay. All right, guys. So this is how this vessel will look, the towing vessel, when she is uh, towing a vessel less than 200 meters in length. It will exhibit two mast headlights in a vertical line, two side lights, port and starboard side. And you can see at the aft, we have one uh, stern light and just above that, we have yellow towing light. All right, guys. So now if the vessel is towing more than 200 meters in length, she will exhibit one more master lights in a vertical line. So there will be three master light in a vertical line, two side lights and a stern light and towing light. That's what she will exhibit. So let's jump on to the next part that is the B part. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power driven vessel and exhibit the lights prescribed in rule number 23. Well, now they are saying if the vessel is pushing ahead, okay, and they are in a composite unit, it means it's just like one vessel. They are rigidly connected, connected with wires or something like and it is, it seems like only one vessel. So she shall exhibit the lights prescribed in rule number 23 that is about the power driven vessel. She don't need to require to put the lights of the pushing vessel or a towing vessel. She can just go with the power driven vessel provided she should be rigidly connected. Okay, that is the condition. Now we will jump to the next part that is C part. C part says a power driven vessel when pushing ahead or towing alongside except in the case of composite unit shall exhibit instead of the light prescribed in rule number 23A first or A second, two master light in a vertical line, side lights and a stern light. All right, now we are talking about the pushing vessel, not the towing vessel, okay? There is a difference. You are pushing from behind, okay? Or there can be a case when you are towing alongside, okay? Alongside, you are towing alongside. There is one vessel and you are here and you are towing. Then what you have to exhibit? You have to exhibit two master light in a vertical line, two side lights and stern light. There is no need to put the towing light. We are pushing and towing alongside. 
here no need to put the towing light here only we will put two mast head lights in a vertical line side lights and a stern light okay provided that you are pushing or towing alongside not towing from the forward all right all right guys so now this is the example of the vessel pushing and she will exhibit two mast head lights in a vertical line two side lights and a stern light there is no need of the towing light so these lights she will exhibit Alright guys, so now this is the case when the vessel is towing alongside, she will exhibit the same lights, two mast light, side lights and a stern light. No need for this towing light. This is about the this part, now we will jump to the next part, that is the D part. D part says, a power driven vessel to which paragraph A or C of this rule applies shall also comply with the rule 23A second. Now here is an interesting little twist here. Here what they are saying that if the vessel which are A and C which are prescribed in A and C that is a vessel towing and a vessel pushing. There are two vessels. In A part we are talking about the towing vessel and the C part we are talking about the pushing vessel. These vessel if they are more than 50 meters in length they will put on additional masthead light which is aft of these two masthead light in a vertical line and higher. Okay. This case you need to put one more additional light because you are more than 50 meters in length as you are a power driven vessel also so as your length is more than 50 meters in length we have covered in rule number 23 if your length is more than 50 meters in length you have to exhibit one more master light which is aft and higher so basically at night time you will see three master lights in a vertical line if you are seeing this vessel from forward and also if the length of the toe exceeds by 200 meters there will be three lights in a vertical line okay then additionally you will have to exhibit one more light if you are more than 50 meters in length the vessel towing you have to put one more additional light okay so it will seem like from the forward that there are four lights in a vertical line but obviously the after one will be higher so you will be able to distinguish okay all right guys so this is the example of the vessel who is towing less than 200 meters in length but she is 50 meters and more so she will exhibit one more mass headlight which is aft and higher as she is also a power driven vessel. Alright guys, so now this is the example of the vessel who is uh, towing 200 meters and more but she is also um, 50 meters and more in length. So that is why there will be four mass headlights you can see here. So this is about the D part. Now we will jump on to the next part that is E part says a vessel or object being towed other than those mentioned in paragraph G of this rule shall exhibit side lights. A stern light and when the length of the toe exceeds 200 meter a diamond shape where it can best be seen all right guys so now we are done talking about the vessel towing and vessel pushing now we are talking about the vessel being towed okay so there will be two vessels obviously in this case uh, one vessel will be towing and one vessel will be being towed so we are talking about this vessel now a vessel being towed so this vessel have different lights so what light they are saying two side lights and a stern light that's it no mast head light so basically i have told you earlier also a mast head light we exhibit only when she is using an engine normally in ror wherever you see this mast head light it will be a power driven vessel okay here of course if it is a vessel being towed there will be no propulsion here so it means there will be no mast head light only the side lights and a stern light side lights and a stern light normally means a vessel is making way through the water so that is what it means of course it is making way through the water but it is not getting propelled by machinery this is a vessel being towed okay and also if the length of this vessel being towed is more than 200 meters you have to exhibit one diamond shape where it best can be seen yeah so this is the example of the vessel being towed and she will exhibit only the side lights and a stern light there will be no mass head light here so this is about the e part let's jump on to the next part that is f part f part says Provided that any number of the vessel being towed alongside or pushed in a group shall be lighted as one vessel. First, a vessel being pushed ahead, not being a part of composite unit, shall exhibit at forward and side lights. Second, a vessel being towed alongside shall exhibit a stern light and at the forward and side lights. Alright, so now they are talking about the vessel being pushed here. Okay, we have already covered the vessel being towed. Now we are talking about the vessel being pushed or towed alongside even though if they are in group we will light it as one vessel that is what they are saying here let's say there are four three three four vessels you are pushing from behind it will be considered as one vessel only and it will be lighted as one vessel. 
okay not each of these four vessel has to exhibit these lights only it will be considered as one vessel okay so what we will exhibit the lights here if, if you are the vessel being pushed you have to exhibit the lights at the forward end let's say there are three four vessels in a group you have to exhibit these side lights at the forward not on each vessel but at the forward end okay that is the light you will exhibit and if you are a vessel being towed alongside additionally you have to put a star light also it will look like this all right guys so in this picture we have the vessel being pushed ahead and she will exhibit uh, the side lights at the forward end of the vessel okay and here is the example of the vessel uh, getting towed alongside she will exhibit the additional stern light here and also the side lights at the forward end all right guys so now we will start with the g part g part says an inconspicuous partially submerged vessel or object or combination of such vessels or object being towed shall exhibit if it is less than 25 meter in breadth one all round white light at or near the forward end and one at the near after end except the dracons not need to exhibit lights at or near the forward end if it is 25 meter or more in breadth two additional all round white lights at or near the extremities of its breadth third part says if it exceeds 100 meter in length additionally all round white lights between the lights prescribed in the sub paragraph 1 and 2 so that the distance between the lights shall not exceed 100 meters fourth is a diamond shape at or near the aftermost extremities of the last vessel or object being towed and if the length of the tow exceeds 200 meter an additional diamond shape where it can best be seen and located as far forward as is practicable or right, i guess so g part is about the inconspicuous and the partially submerged uh, vessels because here they are mostly almost under the water they are you can barely see them on the surface so that is why they have different signals okay now in the first part they are talking about the vessel whose breadth is less than 25 meters in length okay if that is the case you have to exhibit two all round white lights at the after end and the forward end okay if it is less than 25 meters in breadth all right guys so now this is the example of the inconspicuous vessel she will exhibit two all round white lights one at the forward end and one at the after end when the breadth is less than 25 meters now in the second part they are saying if their breadth is more than 25 meters it will have to put the additional light on the extremities of the breadth okay and also one light forward one light aft which is all round white light and also here at the breadth extremities which will look like this All right guys so now if the breadth of the inconspicuous or a partially submerged object is more than 25 meters in length then she has to exhibit this two all round white lights at the breadth extremities okay now here in the third part they are saying if the length also is more than 100 meters you have to put additional these breadth lights in between the 100 meters of length the distance between these two breadth lights should not be more than 100 meters so let's say it is 300 meters you have to put three one here near the forward end one in the middle one in the aft because at each 100 meters you need to put these breadth lights at the extremities which will look like this now here in this example the length of the vessel is more than 100 meters so you need to put this breadth extremities light at every 100 meters of length now in the fourth part they are talking about the day signal day signal if there length is less than 200 meters they have to put one diamond shape at the after end at the most after end okay and if the length is more than 200 meters they have to put additional one diamond at the forward end so it means if length will be two, more than 200 meters there will be two diamonds one at the forward one at the aft even if the length is less than 200 meters you have to put this which is at the after end it will be always be there okay it will always be there This is about the G part, guys. Now we will jump onto the H part. H part says, where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel or object being towed to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in paragraph E or G of this rule, all possible measures shall be taken to light the vessel or object towed, or at least to indicate the presence of such vessel or object. All right, guys. Now they are saying, if there is a case that you cannot exhibit the lights as prescribed in these rules about the vessel being towed, okay. but you have to put something there but you have to put at least something there to indicate that there is a vessel which has which is getting towed okay you have to put something there you need to put some light something to display that another vessel can observe that oh there is a some vessel which is is being getting towed okay that is what they are saying here 
even if you cannot match with the rules you have to do something so that you can exhibit the lights some lights you can put search light whatever the lights you have just exhibit those lights so that it indicates that there is a presence of the vessel there okay it is it should not be like a pitch dark and somebody gets collided with it because they don't realize that there is a vessel behind you and which is being towed okay so that is the case here now we will jump to the next part that is i part it says where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel not normally engaged in towing operation to display the lights prescribed in paragraph a or c of this rule such vessels shall not be required to exhibit those lights when engaged in towing another vessel in distress or otherwise in need of assistance all possible measures shall be taken to indicate the nature of the relationship between the towing vessel and the vessel being towed as authorized by rule number 36 in particular by illuminating the tow line all right guys so now in the last part they are saying that if you are a towing vessel and you are you cannot exhibit the lights which are prescribed here which is towing light and this master lights and vertical line this and that you don't need to exhibit if you are helping a vessel in distress or you are assisting a vessel let's say you are a vessel and you got some distress signal and you have to assist a vessel in distress and you have to help somebody you have to tow this vessel alongside you have to, and you are engaged in this emergency towing okay because you are a vessel a power driven vessel and you don't normally these lights on board this towing light and this master lights in a vertical line you don't have these lights on board so in this case you don't need to exhibit these lights because you are exempted by this rule okay this rule says if you cannot do this no problem you can go ahead because you are involved in the assistance and in distress conditions another thing they are saying that you need to display some lights that there is a relationship between you and the vessel being towed is clear you can do it by illuminating this tow line okay the line which is used to tow the vessel you have to illuminate this thing so that another vessel can see and see this towing line and can you know make out that you are towing this vessel okay if you cannot exhibit the lights of the towing vessel you have to do this if you like this video guys please press the like button and subscribe my channel also press this notification bell and press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also if you have any doubts you can put down in the comment section below i will try to answer it there or i will try to make a video on this topic this is about the video guys i will see you in the next video this is abhilash thakur signing off